back to both sides. That was just a warm up. If I ever get it, the uh, Harley Quinn. Really doesn't add too much value to the team. With those split shots. Uh, before things get out of hand. They like to lay uh, little spider sacks. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, that's right there. That's where the secret room is. Get the damage boost with the razor. Ooh, some protection with the soul heart. I think I want to go down this path. I'm going for a blue baby kill on this run. Ooh, and a planetarium room. Hopefully I get some keys. Oh, you see that smog? That's just all damage zone. that rainbow boot. Worst color in my opinion, rainbow. If I don't get any keys, I'm definitely starting over. Counterfeit coin. Chance for an extra penny every time you pick up money. I wasn't doing good that round, anyways. Just a warm up. Eyes at tears. No, thank you. so my soul hearts don't take damage from coming out of that room. Red hearts are always easier to find than soul hearts. Definitely take the dark bone too. Best bum in the game. Maybe besides Bumbo. If you don't know, the Dark Thumb picks up red hearts and can convert them to Sin hearts or Black hearts. You can also throw out like tarot cards and spiders to attack you, but for the most part it's black hearts. See? Little prankster. No coins. Oh, the 
Razor Blade actually took my black heart. Oh, because I don't have a full red heart to give. Okay. So it doesn't do halvesies. Just in case I get a key. I think I'm going to stick with the bomb. Maybe not. Maybe I'll go back for the... too many bombs. I keep rubbing it in, huh? All the bombs, no keys. Looper, here I get a key out of it. Oh, earlier I picked up that NES cartridge that gives me a random Game Boy uh, effect. Not Game Boy, but Power Pill effect where you turn invincible with the Pac Man head. But the chances of it happening are so low, it's really not worth having. I'm gonna fall for that turret. Nope. I found out paralysis gives you temporary invincibility, but you can't move. I think I'm feeling evil. a really powerful power up. I really like the uh, effect. Everyone you kill you get more damage within that room. More power. It really doesn't work against 
like bosses unless there's other little enemies that they shoot out but it clears the room real fast No red hearts, they should let me in there, but they don't. the music in this floor so melancholy nothing I really want to buy there not worth blowing up the donation box for that maybe if there were a stopwatch or definitely if there were a stopwatch no maybe about it. I'll take no. This makes it so you don't get active item abilities or items in pedestal rooms. So no our L2 items. Oh, Bloody Rage is going to put in work on this room. I could get Bloody Rage to activate here because since he spits out little worms sometimes. I think he does it when he busts out of the wall near the end of the fight. Upcoming. Cat at nine tails, that was a good one. Uh, I could do some more exploring. I don't have a time limit on this since I already beat Hush and the boss boss rush. Do I want another eyeball? This one just floats around the room. It's pretty pathetic. The one I have is more useful. It's actually the shield. Can you open this, Gertie? No. No way am I strong enough for the mines. You guys ever have one of those dreams where you wake up in your dream and it feels so real and you keep waking up 
over and over again. It happens to me sometimes. Oh, I saw a ghost in my at my job last night. <clears throat> I was in the walk-in cooler grabbing a box of cheese. And as I was coming out, I was like looking down while I was carrying a box. And I saw a pair of shoes walk around the corner. And I was like, oh, what's this lazy guy doing? Because I thought it was this lazy dude who works at my work. So I went around the corner and no one was there. Pretty, uh, freaky cool. Getting all the little uh, familiars. What do I need to get it conjoined? Ah, avert your eyes if you don't want to see the gayness. Options make it so that when you kill a boss, you get two items to pick from instead of one. Oh, this is a nice room with some treasure. Go find a key somewhere. Should have played the slots for one. There we go. could come in handy although it just spawns a bunch of troll bombs everywhere turns where you could actually put some use to it shined on that one. There's some hearts in here.
flooded caves? Oh, it's gonna be that one dude who jumps around. Oh no, it's Frail. I don't know you fought Frail in the dark caves. Or flooded caves. You wish. Both of these are really good. What's tears up though? Or tear size? Maw of the Void, is that worth three soul hearts? I think it is. Very powerful charge item. Save the ring as like a prize for finishing this room. Damage up. I do wonder. If there's a way to charge, I'm sure there's a way to charge my maw faster. But it uh, charges pretty fast on its own. Backtrack a little bit. I'm sure that's the way to the boss. have any questions feel free to ask I'll answer to the best of my ability Larry Jr. don't ask why he's called Larry Jr. because I don't know where Larry Sr. is uh, backpack could come in handy Oh, I've got that no ability though. I won't get any more active items. Double back for the item room. Oh, that was a waste. Oh. That's a really powerful uh, trinket. What that does is when I use like a tarot card or a pill, it has a chance of drawing the same one I just used. Hence the name Endless Loot. was the way to the boss room. That's weird that the... Oh. 
That's weird that the shop was before the treasure room. Usually it's not. infinite bombs. I dig it. It really makes my maw the void pretty useless though, because you don't want to just spam hold the bombs. I'm already regretting this decision. special rock for a second. Make devil deals easier to get. skinny rooms. Larry Elder. Weird. No, uh, super secret room close to the boss. 
I'll find it though, regardless, since I have infinite bombs. Cannot have any other rooms adjoined to it but one, so it's pretty easy to find. Hopefully it's a room full of red hearts. Vampire bat could be pretty good. Oh, he does damage up now. I don't think he used to do that. shopping in the treasure room or item room shop You guys stop fighting. One thing about these skulls is it spawns these uh, invincible enemies. Could be pretty tiresome to dispatch it. The doors are closed. That's why I like to blow them up after the doors are open so I can just despawn them. Here, I've got the chariot. Oh, bomb be bomb.
took away my luck. Experimental pill. Oh, okay. Oh, I gotta go in that secret room. Much weaker with that extra red heart, but I'll get rid of it with the razor once I hit the boss room. You gotta be careful. I've got just like two hits. Item. No more shops to visit. see that. That's fine. Bozo. Rip Bozo. He definitely is a clown. and some attack up with the Bozo ability. Oh yeah, it also charms enemies.
bombs. It's unfortunate. I like how the Razor Blade synergizes with the throw that she has. Where when you take damage it comes out and just attacks. I do like these secondary routes. You get options when you go to the item rooms. But you do need an additional key. Oh, it's an XL dungeon. teleport to the hermit room and hopefully buy a key. I won't be visiting the devil deal room because in the next room I'll have a 66% chance to get to an angel room instead of 33 since this is an XL dungeon on the second floor. Oh, come on. Just mocking me. Oh, I could get it right now, actually. But I'm one shot. my damage to jump up by 13.86%. Still one shot until I clear this room. carry two items down here so I really don't need that so I'm gonna gamble I like a uh, little Steven homing shots a little shot now come back and buy this if I get enough coins. Gain sense right there. Out of all the spaces for there to be a secret room, I just have this sixth sense about them. No, he's not. Don't insult Steven like that. Need it against the next boss. The next boss is either going to be the big bag of poop or I think it could be the guy that bounces around. Either way, 
I'm gonna be using a bomb against it. Oh no, crap. Damage boost in this next room with my blade. Oh, this guy. This guy doesn't move, so he's really easy to fight. I like how the crow just spazzing out against him. Make me a little bit slower. That's okay. Now you get to see the 66% chance angel room. Oh, 67.5. Where am I? Flooded caves? Oh, Curse of the Blind, though. I really hope I find a black candle in the item shop. Oh, I won't even know because it's blind. Curse of the blind makes it so I can't see the pedestal items. So it's gonna make the angel room the gamble unless I, there's only one item in there. Plus there be multiple items and I get the stupid breath of life. Always. Oh, that's gross and messy, friend. I don't have Mega Satan on this one. Some red hearts. I like to stay one red heart with Eve, but I'm so powerful with that mega tier. Let me see the difference. Oh wow, it's minus eight attack. It's pretty devastating. And everything's slower. Give me a food item, that's what he usually gives. Yeah. Hello. Secret room item. Forget me now.
forget me now makes it so you basically restart this whole floor over again. Which is nice, but I really want to keep the razor blade. So if I use forget me now, I lose the razor blade. Had a chance of dropping soul hearts. Also, tarot cards. Nothing. That's the worst pill to ever pick up. Gives you the dunce effect, kind of. Diagonal shots. But it goes away after a bit. I can't get to this treasure chest, right? Yeah. find soul hearts and poop. Mm, I want to go in that curse room. Sun makes it so that you see the whole floor. It also heals you completely. And it does a Necronomicon effect. So it damages enemies. Charged penny. What do I have right now? Nothing? Alright. It's useless. It makes it so when you get pennies, I believe it lets you charge your active item. My active item doesn't have a charge, so... Mega Mall. Or like Mega Man. only one item but it's probably the worst item to get I wonder where that could be. I need 
three bombs. I'm gonna use the sun, even though it's just gonna heal me. I wanna get in here. The sun. Not worth it. The only time I'd want the tower. No bombs this round, huh? Got a bomb, I can get to that. Of course I find the boss room first. Do I have steam sale on this? Yeah, I do. chance for another angel room. Five percent. Oh, I wanted bombs. I got him. I should have got this first. Options more options makes it so there's two items you can choose from in the treasure rooms. But now I can go hunting for treasure or a secret room. But first I want to go back to the bedroom. These cross bombs are really dangerous too.
what was that movie you saw called? Diabolus or something? Diabolos? Demonius? to the boss room. I definitely thought I was making my way back to the regular rooms. Nefarious. Oh really? That sucks. Oh I'll, I'll just get it on Amazon or something. I saw it had Sean Patrick Flannery in it. Look at this broke ass bed. No crawl space. Ch it's pretty lame. What about the exorcist? Or was it depicting religion in a good light? Is that why? Like, uh, God is dead? Can't have that. Oh, this guy's pretty tough. Not when he's fearful, though. When he's fearful, he's not. But this guy's movements are sporadic. Gives like a spread shot. Oh, I forgot about that move, too. Oh, dang. Moloch. That makes sense now. Puberty is actually a good one. If you get three puberties, you turn into an adult and get a buff. Curse of the Blind again. Yeah, when I saw Sean Patrick Flannery was in it, I was like, oh, I gotta see this, because he's usually in really good movies. He's not into the whole woke bullshit either. That's why I don't watch movies anymore, or TV shows. The agenda is just so, uh, in your face, like, you can totally see it. What's up, kings? Just going for my second dead god file. Playing as my uh, least favorite character. Who's your favorite character to play as? And who are you having trouble with? Do you have everyone unlocked? But Zay's most tired. I really like playing as him. A lot of people don't like playing as him because he's considered too easy. But he's just so fun to play as. And when I say a lot of people, I only mean... Oh, yeah, I've got... 720-something on the green machine. And... I really like the keeper. I've got to unlock the Forgotten on this file, 
I haven't gotten around to it. I just want to beat the chest and dark room with everyone first. Man, I, I put a video up on YouTube yesterday where I played as Maggie on Greed Air Mode. And I had like 90 coins to donate. But it only loaned it, it had a 1% chance of jamming and it jammed after like 2 coins. I really want to get the Holy Mantle for the loss. Because I like playing as a loss. But I'm not doing it without the Holy Mantle. So once I get all the base characters done with Dark Chest and the Dark Room, yeah, the loss is so fun to play with. Yeah, but it's a fun difficult. I've had a few cheap deaths here and there with them, like in Boss Rush. Yeah, I play on console too, I use my PS5. I've got the red controller. Oh, they do. There's co op. Oh, yeah, there's co op on this. Do you have any of the tainted characters un uh, unlocked? Well, this is going to be a reset because I'm not going through... Okay. Hmm. Oh, nice. I really like the red room or the red key item. I really like exploring the red rooms. It's just really hard to uh, find. I don't have it unlocked on this file yet. Because I haven't even uh, went to it the beast on any fights. To show you what I've done so far. See, I've got some red marks on some characters. I try to beat Hush and the boss rush as soon as possible with everyone because I hate time having time put on me when I'm playing. I like Lilith too. Do you play on a PlayStation or a Xbox? Yeah, she is. It's okay. Yeah, she, uh, as you can tell, I've only done greedier mode with her. It's, it's so fun to play with her on greedier mode. But I was trying to get Eve done. Because I really don't like playing as her. Tainted Eve, on the other hand, is awesome. But I think regular Eve is my worst character. Yeah, but if you go to YouTube and look up uh, Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia, um, I've got a lot of highlights up there for not only Binding of Isaac, but pretty much other games too, like Hollow Knight, uh, Horizon, Forbidden West. I play many different games. I just really enjoy roguelikes, and this is the best one that I've found. But I'll probably be 
picking up uh, either the Dead Space remake to play through on Impossible Mode or Resident Evil 4 next. The remake of Resident Evil 4. Yeah, I've got like 80 platinum trophies. And my uh, most proud ones I have are Har Hollow Knight and this one, because they took the longest. But if I respect the game and enjoy it a lot, I'll get platinum on it. A few of the recent ones I've gotten are Days Gone. That game was amazing. I didn't think I was going to like it. But the zombie hordes in it made it fun. That's good. Yeah, Days Gone was so good. The story was amazing, too. Like, you actually felt for the characters. Which is hard to conveying a lot of games. Like Horizon Zero Dawn was a really good game and the story was amazing. Part 2 was okay but the story just wasn't there. Like Part 1 had a really good story. Part 2 for Vin West not too good of a story but the game was amazing to play so I you know knuckled through it and played through it. Loser from Days Gone. That dude was pretty tight. I really liked him. I won't spoil any of the uh, story elements for other people watching, but Part 2 of Forbidden West is such a huge game. Like, I felt overwhelmed at times trying to explore the map, and I played on Ultra Hard from the get-go, which I guess was a DLC. I guess Very Hard was the initial hardest difficulty, but by the time I got to it, there was Ultra Hard. So fighting the machines in the very beginning was extremely uh, challenging. But once you got stronger, it got easier. Like, there are times when I would be fighting a Thunderjaw, and I'd be at, like, level 30-something, and it was still killing me in, like, one hit. So I just had to get better equipment. Like, I really like using tear, tear arrows to take off their weapons, but... I would need like six tear arrows just to take off one of its disc launchers. And I it was very extremely difficult. Oh, For Honor, that's the uh medieval game, right? Where you fight is it only like fighting one on one against someone? Or is there like a uh campaign to it? Because I've seen a few people play it, and it was mainly one-on-one, -on -one, like against other people. Okay. What would, uh, what would you liken it to, like the story mode? Is it like a campaign like Go Ghost of Tsushima, or is it more just like a story mode where it's just 1v1 or 4v4, where they're like different enemies, like, because I haven't seen too much of that game, but I've been interested in it.
guy's gonna start bouncing around real soon. Here he goes. Boom. <laughs> Rich rage inducing about it. I know you said it had a steep learning curve, but is there like one hit KOs or something? I think I'm gonna gamble. I get something crappy, but this really doesn't do it for me. Oh, of course I get a butter bean. Running low on all kinds of items. No keys, no bombs. Probably a secret room here. Sit on the shop when I can't buy anything. That guy just jumps out of nowhere too. You gotta be careful. Because in his second phase coming up, when he makes these holes, he could jump out of those too. And he's caught me off guard a few times with the loss. I'll just be chilling by one of those holes. And he gets me. Joker room, Joker card, Joker card, no Joker card, I'll take a Hermit though, pretty pathetic, mm. oh you're going for Mother? Yeah, I'm not doing Mother until I... Yeah, I don't do... I'm not gonna do Mother until, um... I beat the chest in Dark Room with everyone I've unlocked. And then I'll start doing, like, the Alt Pass. But I will go on the Alt Pass for the, uh... Double items. Plus, I don't have the Holy Mantle unlocked for the Lost. So when I do get hit by that fire to turn into a loss, I, I'll still be one shot. So that's another reason I'm not doing it. I like the extra challenge of it, but I'm not going to, you know, get a good run going and then just die to a random bullet that just comes out of nowhere. That holy mantle is key. Technology? I dig that. Just looking for a secret room. Can't be here. Could be over here. Could be up there. I'm not a fan of Technology 2 though. Technology 2 has 
these deeper tiers, but you have that weak ass laser. I'd much rather a technology one. And the Ludovico treatment, where you have to control the ball with the right stick or with the controller or the, you know the button. I'm not a fan of Ludovico. It's okay with certain items, but in general by itself, I don't like it. I noticed when I yeah yeah that's cool when there's a big ring that you could control that one's cool there's certain circumstances where it's good but on its own I'm not a fan like anything that adds extra to the little to the tier that you control is good like there's a I can't remember what gives, it might be the split shot, but it'll be the big tier with like four little orbs around it. That's pretty cool too. Oh, there's rocks here. Have my little bird come take care of these guys. Yeah. shopping the only thing I'm hoping to find in here is just soul heart nope but I do get a discount tarot card not a good one temperance Use a bomb on this guy. Got some powerful lasers going. Alright, Breath of Life, the worst power up in the game, or Angel Room in the game. Now I get the Guardian. Have this guy run into the fire, do damage to himself. I gotta remember I'm immune to bombs with that bomb helmet. So mother fight will be pretty easy. Yeah, we'll risk it. I was hoping for an item, but I'll take a key and a bomb. If it were just one chest, like one regular chest, I wouldn't even bother. I'll take the hanged man, though. Could be some out of reach items that I could use it for. Getting pretty lucky with these rooms that aren't cursed. Last run I had so many cursed rooms. I had like two blind cursed rooms or floors. Oh. Sorry, but sorry, dude, but you're getting sacrificed. A bat on, hell yeah. 
extra powerful now. Actually, just unlocked the Abad on power up. Um, I think the day before yesterday. This is a good room to use my hanged man. No, I don't want that. Have you unlocked Jacob and Esau yet? I haven't, and I can't remember how. I think you just have to beat the beast or something, right? Something simple. Loopy eyes. How does this work with the technology? Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, something simple. I'm a big fan of Tainted Jacob. I like using the... I don't know if you know anything about Tainted Jacob, but having the abysmal chain or whatever to control tainted Esau is really fun using him in like a slingshot like a bonus weapon I dig it he was actually the first tainted character I finished uh, because I when I found out about tainted characters in my last playthrough um, I looked up what are the hardest tainted characters to finish with, or to finish, and Tainted, Jacob, and The Lost were like the number one and two to actually beat the game with, so Tainted Jacob was the first one, first tainted character I finished, and he was frustrating to play as, but the more I played with him and as him, the... Uh, more fun I found it to play with him. But Tainted Lost is pretty difficult too. A little unfair sometimes. You need to get l some lucky runs to do some of the major boss fights like Hush or Delirium. But overall, not too bad. really want me to have this Emperor card. So, <clears throat> Cannabis, where are you from? I'm, I'm originally from California, but I recently moved to North Carolina. I'm actually going back to visit after being away for six months. I booked my flight and everything. Oh, so you're pretty close. Flight tickets are insane. The price of them. cost me like 700 bucks to book a round trip flight to Cali. Oh, that's cool. What are you going for? Just like for fun? Uh, vacation? Family? Okay.
Yeah, the difference between California and the rest of the United States is so different. Uh, the I'm in the Triad, like the Piedmont Triad area. I'm not too familiar with this state at all, like geographic-wise. People at my work will talk about different cities, and I'll have no idea what they're talking about. Well, that was uneventful. That was a really bad treasure room. Okay, I'm about, um, about 45 minutes from Raleigh. Like Winston-Salem. Dead cat. Now if I get this, I don't think I lose my hearts, just so it, it takes away all my red hearts. Oh, it gives me one. Hey. Yeah. This dude's probably going to give me another red heart from a food item, unless he, I get lucky and don't get food items. I should go to the shop before I do this. I would, but I've de I could definitely add you, but I've got uh, work in about an hour, so I'm going to be ending it after th this run and getting ready for work. What I'll add you, do is this the same name that you play as? Okay, I'll definitely remember that. I'll add you, I'll add you after I end stream. So I've never played co-op before. How does it work? Is it just that, like it in item rooms? Are there two items to pick from, or does every? Can you both get the same item? How does that work? And when you complete it, uh, do you get red marks as you would playing it on single player? I can't see anything with this curse of darkness and these glasses on. Yeah, when I play as harder characters, I'm definitely going to have to play without the glasses. This makes it so I could use the item, the cards twice. That's actually pretty cool. 
seems like it, it's easier to play to get the marks with co-op. What happens if one of like one of your teammates dies? How does that work? Do they Like if uh, one person were to die. Oh, okay. And then they could. If they die, can they still get all the marks? If so, that'd be pretty busted. Like if someone dies as a lost, but they defeated as Isaac, you get the lost marks even though you died. Is that how it works? Wow, that's pretty busted. That's pretty insane, actually. like a California bum. No matter how much you give them, they won't go away. Oh, we've got a red foot mom. Flawless victory. I'm going for the chest, right? Yeah. I'm not using the Hierophant until I lose some more soul hearts. Cause I think it'll spawn three with the Terror Claw. It won't spawn four, I believe. Even though Terror Claw is supposed to double the uh, usage, I think it'll still only spawn three, if I remember correctly. You can tell you yeah, have the Terror Claw ability because it's glowing red down there. Or not red, purple. If you guys see a uh, rock with an X on it, let me know. I tend to miss the breakable rocks with this, the item rocks, and the, these floors. The other floors are easy, but these ones are a little bit more tougher to see. I'm definitely going for this fight right now, because... There's no real reason to keep exploring. OK. 
Okay. Which trinket do I have? None. Well, I don't want that challenge up. No benefit to fighting champion enemies really this late game. I'll just wait for them to break free. Oh no, they died anyways on their own. Food item? Nah, I don't want it. So this is going to turn into a blue baby fight, Mega Satan, and possibly Delirium if I get lucky. Beating Mega Satan gives you a 50% chance to fight him. Oh no, I already beat Delirium with this chick. I don't need to fight him. Because you see the red outline, that means you beat Delirium. So I just need to beat Mega Satan and the, the Blue Baby. Then I'll just need the mother and the beast, greedier. I think that's it. Then I'll be done with this character. enemies are the worst. They just home in on you. You mm, can't see anything with those clouds popping off like that. This item right now too. I'm going up. Cathedral. Great music in this floor. Not worth the time. Running late enough as it is. Maybe if I had like a teleport card. I'll open all those checks and teleport out. Oh no, I didn't want that heart. Huh. <clears throat> I can't call in sick on a Friday night during boost week. I have yet to call in sick at this job. I have no sick time.
Oh, no, those guys are rare. Those super skulls. They remind me of like the... Uh, they have like the holy water from Castlevania. Just leaving blue flames everywhere. Dang, I was like, that'd be cool if this chest gave me two soul hearts. Have I tried bombing here yet? Take a shortcut. One thing about the Polaroid, it gives extra protection. Good thing about the next floor is you start off with a four golden treasure chests and every chest on that floor gives you a pedestal item so it's like a uh, little bonus why am I so weak I'm not doing no damage to this guy. Maybe I won't be strong enough to beat Mega Satan unless I get some good items in the next floor. Might not even be able to beat Blue Baby with this run. Really wanted to save that. Man, that was rough. I'm definitely not using that. Oh, yikes. Gotta start taking risks. This guy too. This guy jumps really fast. Gotta stay moving. I'll keep this just in case. Oh.
map too. It's pretty useful. Ooh, give me those socks. I believe the socks give you soul hearts too. But I'll be having tomorrow off too. I have the weekends off, so I'll be able to stream longer on the weekends. At least let me beat this guy. I don't care about beating Mega Satan. Oh, the music is so good in this fight. Backtrack to Mega Satan. I would like to clear more rooms to get more treasure. Yeah. Hopefully, get some more treasure chest. I don't know how likely that's gonna be. I have left. nine lives. Okay. I mean, I guess with the nine lives, I could clear some more room. It's funny, I haven't even run into her as a an enemy yet in the game. Or as a boss. 
can't remember how you unlock her as a boss fight. But I'm just completely one shot until I get something better. But at least I have the nine lives. Oh, I can't even get around that double larder. Can you get out of the way? Oh, you know what I could do? Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Trying for anything to get some more power up. See if I can use Undefined to have it be like a one shot, because I believe that's one of the random effects for it. But I still need to clear a few more rooms for that. I think I'm down to my last life. get ready for work, chill out before I have to go. But I'll be back on tomorrow.